Under new management, a highly anticipated competition takes place to determine the 2017 National Queen of the Bay designate to succeed Crystalline Castillo, the outgoing 2016 title holder. Eight delegates, all crowned district queens, are hopeful that they can exude poise and elegance as well as eloquence in the final question segment. But it is the difficult curtsy that carries the most points. This year, the swimwear segment returns to the pageant. Chair of the National Queen of the Bay Committee, Zenaida Moy, explains. We have had district pageants in all districts with the exception of Stan Creek. So all these delegates, they were first contestants in their districts. Now that they've come to the nationals, they are called delegates. And these young women have all won. They're all queens of the Bay, every single one of them in their respective districts and municipality. They have been practicing long and hard. We first had the Queen of the Bay State Ball, where they, they perform their platforms, they earn certain points. And now, tomorrow, at the Big Bird's Isle, 7 p.m. sharp, and I mean sharp, Saturday, that is when it all starts. Of course, they will have to do their introduction and costume. Then they'll have to, they'll have to answer patriotic questions. Then they will do their swimsuit yes we're bringing back the swimsuit but it's elegantly and tastefully done you will see the ladies in patriotic colored swimsuits and it's going to be very 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 tasteful even in terms of the coat of arms everything will be there you will see them you will be like whoa this is very elegant. And then, of course, we will be having the talent. Everybody wants to know what the talent will be. It's very enjoyable, entertaining, and then you get to see the ladies performing. It has to be patriotic. It has to, be, it has to speak of the legacy of Belize. Thereafter, it's the curtsy. Now, we all know the curtsy, the even where that is a tough one. That is, that is what make or break. All right, so, so that's going to be a toughie. That is called the highest. Following the Patriotic March segment, the judges will determine the top four finalists for the pageant who will continue to the final round of questions on national issues. Moya says that the standard for the pageant is being raised where the delegates must be aware. All of these young ladies, with the exception of one, has a minimum of, a, of an associate's degree. So they are well intelligent, qualified, and all the ladies are. I have seen them in action. We have been rehearsing with them. We have seen the caliber of young ladies, and I have no doubt that they will be able to respond well. As a matter of fact, they have met with both the prime minister and the leader of the opposition, and of course, the mayor of Belmopan, and certain questions, and, 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 and the Governor General of Belize, and certain questions that were posed, it shows me that they, any one of them will be able to win that title tomorrow night. We want our Queen of the Bay to be able to easily represent us. We want that she be able to speak well, that she knows of national issues. We're not talking about political and partisan um, anything. We're talking about just knowing of, about social issues and things like that. The, this time around, there is, a, a, that will be 25 points as it regards the semi-finalist round and it, as it regards that particular uh, segment in terms of the national issue seg um, question. So who will rise to the challenge and capture the crown? Meet the delegates for the 2017 National Queen of the Bay title. Hello, Belize. I am 18-year-old Nalisha Costa, proudly representing my beautiful district, Corozal. I decided to join the pageant because this is an experience, this is a dream that I'm living. Hello, I am Esmeralda Cal, proudly representing Orange Walk. So why did I decide to enter this pageant? I am a cultural dancer. In fact, I love to inspire others to embrace their own culture as well. So I would love to implement who I am into this pageant without changing any aspect of me. Hi, my name is Lashania Crawford and I am representing Belize District. I decided to be a part of the Queen of the Bay pageant because I want to be a part of my country's history and I want to make a change in my country. Hello my beautiful Belizeans, I am Deandra Martinez, proudly representing the nation's capital, Belmopan. I chose to enter this pageant because I wanted to be a role model for my society and young women out there. 
and encourage them that no matter what you put your minds to, it is achievable, no matter your color, height, or where you're from. Hello, Belize. I am 19-year-old Amy Reyes, proudly representing one of, the one of the nation's most beautiful twin town, Santa Elena. The reason why I chose to be a part of this prestigious pageant is to make history to be the first young woman to take the crown to the West. Hello, Belize. I am 18-year-old Alyssa Grant, proudly representing the most beautiful stunning town in the Kaya district, San Ignacio. Allow me just to boast, the West is the best and nothing but the best. I decided to join this year pageant because I want to step out of my comfort zone and encouraging my younger females to try something new and have high self-esteem in their self. Hello Belize, I am Alia Isigiri representing the Stan Creek District. I decided to participate in this year's Queen of the Bay pageant because I believe the pageant is the oldest of our nation. It has a reputation for respect, admiration, elegant and being influential qualities that I believe I can definitely portray. Hi Belize, hi to the people of Toledo. I am 18 years old, Queda Arzu, proudly representing the Toledo district. I entered this pageant because I wanted to motivate other females out there to the fact that you don't need to be slim to be in this pageant. This is not a beauty pageant, this is about being elegant, respectable, the way you carry yourself. Dwayne Moody for News 5.